Bismillah ar-Rahman ar-Rahim. Assalamu alaikum, my dear learners. I welcome you to English Grade Six video lessons. I'm your instructor Zia Hamid. I hope that you're doing well. So, my dear learners, we are dealing with unit number one, titled Hazrat Muhammad sallallahu alaihi wasallam's patience. The competency is of grammar. It's our lecture number one, and the topic. Rules of articles. So, let us see our students' learning outcome for this video lesson. It says, recall and apply rules for use of articles. A an and the in speech and writing. So, my dear learners. We are going to see the use of articles, and we will recall our concept of uh, parts of speech in which we learned about a term article, and we saw that there are two kind of articles: definite and indefinite. So here we will recall our previously learned uh, concept of articles, and we will apply those. Rules for putting articles in our sentences, like a and a and and the, in both our speech and in our writing. So this is our students' learning outcome. I hope that you understood it well. Now here is a vertical linkage of this SLO with your previous grade. So in that you you uh, you learn the use of indefinite a and and definite the articles. You read it uh, thoroughly in your previous grade. Now let's begin our lecture with one of the most beautiful verses. So we have Surah Al Fatiha, verse number one. It says, "In the name of Allah." The beneficent, the merciful. This is uh, Bismillah Rahman Rahim. It's translation, and we can see that we have highlighted the word the. Why? Because the or the is an article. So here, in the name of Allah, the beneficent, the merciful. We are talking about. Uh, the article the, which is a definite one, because Allah is the one, one, and He is the definite. Nobody is like Him, so that's why we use these articles. So you can find articles in the translation of the Holy Quran as well. So, uh, my dear learners, let's do a brainstorming activity for you. You are already familiar with a and and the articles your teacher will write some sentences on the board so these sentences will contain articles like a and and the and you are supposed to pick the correct article from the sentences i hope that you will enjoy doing this activity so now let's see uh, what are articles let's revise so why articles are important why do we use them in our sentences in our speech let's see articles helps us clarify the meaning of the noun in your sentences so what does it do it clarifies the meaning of the noun furthermore it also comes before a noun to show if it's a specific one or general so we know that with a general we use a and an and with something specific we use the so these are the two uh, purposes of uh, articles and why they are important so now Let's see how do we use the indefinite article like a and an. We use it to show a singular noun. When we have a singular noun, we use article 
a or an so with singular nouns they are searching for a book because book is a singular noun that's why we are using a before it here arshad is playing with a toy car we used a because we are talking about one toy and one toy car so keep this in mind that this is how we use uh, with, uh, with nouns they are singular so how do we use these articles a and an with adjectives let's see he is a tall boy can you find out the article yes a and it is coming before the adjective tall so whenever we are using uh, we are talking about the noun and before that the adjective comes we use a singular um, a or an here we have another sentence she is an intelligent girl yes this one here is an adjective so we are using the article an here before the adjective why not a why an we know that this adjective is beginning with a vowel so that's why we use an before it so now uh, what else let's see we use it to say what someone is or what job he or she does for example my brother is a doctor so we are explaining we are describing a job so that's why we use the article a before uh, the profession which is being a doctor so my brother is a doctor now we have another example there is a butcher in the shop butcher is also a job a profession so that's why we are using a, a here also we are talking about one thing uh, we are talking about an indefinite thing that's why we are using a so uh, now we have to say what someone is to show the person or a thing yes can you see that she is a pupil at university road school so we are showing a person here for example pupil we are using a before it we are using this article before describing the person there is a flock of sheep in the farm so we are describing this thing uh, the group so that's why we are using a before it a band of singers is performing on the stage so uh, this is how we use them uh, before in a person or anything so also we use the definite uh, article the in front of a specific name or noun for example the prime minister of pakistan is visiting russia so we are talking about not a uh, not anyone uh, but we are talking about a specific person or specific noun so we use the because there is only at that time one prime minister so this will be a uh, definite article hence we are using the the moon is very bright tonight yes we are talking about the moon which is a specific thing it's only one that we have so that's why we use this definite article v now uh, we also use articles with adjectives or to talk about groups of people like life can be very hard for the poor we are talking about the poor group the category the class so that's why we are using this definite article here let's see i think the rich should pay more taxes so obviously we are talking about this group of rich people that's why we are using the before it 
she works for a group to help the disabled we are talking about people who are disabled also uh, that's why we are using it so now let's see what do we have further we use it to refer to a system or service this is when we use the article the how long does it take on the train or i heard it on the radio you should tell the police this is when we use the definite article the now let's see what else we use it with a superlative adjective for example he is the tallest boy in the class tallest is the superlative degree of tall that's why we use the art definite article here obviously we are talking about the class hence we are using it here it is the oldest building in the town here it is the superlative degree of old that's why we are using the and also here she is the most intelligent girl same goes with this example now my dear learners let's get started for an interesting activity i hope you are excited for it now we have a group activity you will be done this will be done in pairs you will make your groups and then students will do part a page 5 from the book here we have a question it says the articles are missing in the given story work in pairs or groups one read the story to another by providing articles and the other partner has to listen it carefully if his or her partner is using correct article or not so this will uh, help you understand that how the articles are used and where you are making a mistake so uh, here another activity work in pairs suppose there is a get together at your home you have to talk about the arrangements you are going to make do not pronounce articles while speaking your partner has to tell which article is to be used here so now um, dear fellow teachers we have a worksheet attached with the uh, other resources you can distribute these worksheet among your students and ask them to solve it so for the homework we have a very uh, good prompt you have to write a short descriptive paragraph by and using the articles you you will use both the definite and the indefinite articles a and and the in the right and appropriate place so we are here at the end of our video lesson some resources are attached they are worksheet presentation a lesson plan and a question bank all these things are added also a skill sheet here so i hope that you had good time recalling about the concept of articles and the different rules for using the definite and the indefinite article in different situations until the next video lesson assalam alaikum allah hafiz